I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and thank you for joining me today for Choose Your Heat Press Project. Uh, for this class we're going to be going over some unique ideas and some new heat printing techniques. Uh, but we're going to put a little twist on it where you're going to actually uh, pick the five looks that we're going to be pressing today. So we're going to launch a, a couple polls here in a few minutes but I wanted to um, go over the projects that we're going to be doing so you know which one that you want to pick to see uh, be done at the heat press, okay? So we'll go ahead and go over those now. Uh, so we're going to start with our options. We have a rain jacket. It's a 100% polyester rain jacket that we'll be applying neon pink fashion film to and also 3M reflective. We also have a back to school look, which we'll be printing a um, book bag and a uh, lunch box as a pair with CAD cut glitter flake and then we'll also be doing a color block tank with CAD cut glitter flake and uh, foil effects so we're going to take um, a uh, turn on the color block effect that the tank already has play off that a little bit with the glitter flake and foil uh, for a really unique effect um, then we have for our fourth choice, a hologram and fashion film applied to a Heather long sleeve t-shirt. It's a tri-blend, uh, so a little mixed media effect there. And then we have a CAD cut uh, patterns monogram. So we recently launched our CAD cut patterns, and we're going to be applying one uh, to a cap here with the cap press. Then we have a Fashion Film Electric and Flock on a Tote Bag, which is one of my personal favorites. Gives it a really unique effect by mixing flock and an electric finish um, on a tote bag, perfect for summer. Then we have CAD Cut Patterns Mixed Media on a Cosmic T-shirt. This is what our patterns looks like with a um, really intricate design. And then we have Transfer Express Elastoprints on a short sleeve hoodie. So those, those are our uh, top eight uh, designs and projects that we have for today. You guys are going to be picking five out of those eight. For our first poll, you're going to have four to pick from. From there, you're going to choose your top, the top three that you want to see. So we'll launch that poll now and you'll choose the top three. Okay, it looks like the votes are finished coming in so we can go ahead with the top three from that first poll. Now we have the uh, tri-blend with the hologram and fashion film. Uh, we also have the color block tank with the glitter flake and foil effect. And then last but not least, we have the rain jacket with the 3M and the fashion film. Okay, so those are the top three from our first poll. We're going to go ahead and launch our second poll, and you're going to choose the top three from that poll as well. It's going to look like it's the tote bag with fashion film, electric, and flock, uh, the patterns and the fashion film on a cosmic t-shirt, and the elastoprints on a short sleeve hoodie. Those are the top three for the second poll. Okay, so now that we have our top six chosen, we're going to take the top five from those six, and those are the five that we're going to print. So which ones had the highest percentage out of all six? Um, it's going to be the uh, tri-blend with hologram and fashion film, followed by the tote bag with fashion film electric and flock. Then we're going to have the uh, color block with the uh, color block pattern and glitter. And then we're going to have a patterns and fashion film on a cosmic t-shirt. Last but not least, the elastic prints on a short sleeve hoodie. Okay, great. All right, so we have the top five chosen. We're going to be doing the hologram and fashion film on the tri blend long sleeve tee. We're going to be doing the fashion film electric and flock on our tote bag. We have the color block effect taking a um, taking a turn on the um, a play on the color block tank. Then we have the CAD cut patterns and fashion film for the cosmic tee and our last prints on a short sleeve hoodie. So we'll go ahead and get started with our projects today. I'm gonna head to the press, I'll meet you over there.
Okay, so I'm working with the Hotronics Fusion today. Uh, this is one of our uh, one of the many different heat presses that Hotronics works with. Has a nice swing away and a nice draw. Has interchangeable platens that I'm going to be utilizing today. I'm going to be working with the 11 by 15, the 16 by 20. Uh, 6 by 10 and a variety of different ones. So you're going to be able to see me interchange all of these out so that we can um, best be able to print on uh, each of the items that we're going to be uh, demonstrating today. I'm going to start with the tri So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my overhead cam. Now I'm just going to thread this shirt on there just so that I'm getting a nice uh, flat area to work with. No seams are in my way for where I need to apply my design down. So I'm just going to do a quick preheat, test my pressure for my application. I'm going to want to be at about a medium pressure, so I'm going to just turn my knob here two times so that I know I'm at about a medium. It's going to give me a digital pressure readout on my press. So my uh, medium pressure is going to read out between a three and five, okay? So for my first application, I want to apply my hologram since it's the largest part of my design. This art was created by Great Dane Graphics. You can go on there and sign up for a month to month or a free trial so you can test out their um, artwork. So this is where I got my artwork and my hologram is going to apply at 320 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. So I'm going to increase my temperature here so I can get a good application. And my heat press is gonna go ahead and count down for me. So it's gonna let me know whenever my hologram is um, done heat applying, that way I can Go ahead and lift this up, remove my cover sheet, and I'm just going to let this hologram cool for a little bit. Hologram is a cold peel, so I'm just going to take it off of the platen so that I can release uh, and the cool down process can um, speed up a little bit for me. Typically, I like to uh, place my transfer on a cold surface to speed up the cool down process and it will release the heat a little quicker from the garment and the transfer. All right, so it's pretty cool to the touch, so I can go ahead and peel my transfer back. Okay, so you can see the hologram finish on there. Now I'm going to go in with my fashion film and apply it for its full uh, recommended time and temperature. So I'm just going to thread this right back on my platen, making sure the thick seams at the bottom of the shirt are hanging off. Then I'm going to just place in my fashion film right in the area where the artwork was left open for that two color piece of the design. So fashion film applies at 320 degrees as well for the same recommended time and temperature as the hologram. So I'm going to increase my temperature uh, to 15 seconds. And again, it's just going to count down uh, my time for me. And if you guys have any questions about any of the applications you guys are seeing today, feel free to chat those in and I will do my best to answer each of those. I also want to point out uh, the garment that I am applying my transfers to. It was purchased from Sanmar and it is an alternative brand. Okay, and now I have a completed custom t-shirt for a high school baseball team, whether it's for fan wear, uh, for a mom or a sister to wear for their brother out on the field or uh, for if you wanted to uh, play on the different heat transfer vinyls that you can use. I chose hologram um, as a fan wear, but obviously you can use matte finishes or electric finishes for a melt to wear as well. So always keep in mind, 
um, the different finishes are going to reach different demographics and markets. So if you're trying to reach um, the male side of things, you can always switch up the finish that you're using for these. Okay, so for our next application is going to be the Fashion Film Electric and Flock on the tote bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab those transfers. And for this application, I'm actually gonna be using a different platen so I can go ahead and take my 16 by 20 by just pulling the latch underneath. This, this platen is gonna pick right up out of there and um, go right into place. So I'm just gonna grab my 11 by 15 platen and load that into the press just as the 16 by 20 was. So this is going to just drop right down into that that you are seeing there so that the pin goes right in there and then the latch underneath is going to lock that in place so it's not going to be moving around on me. Okay and now that I have my 15, my 11 by 15 on there, I'm actually wanted to point out that this is going to be able to turn both ways. So although I have it um, vertically on there, this is going to be a horizontal bag that we're working with. So I want to be able to load it on so that the handles on my bag aren't going to get in the way of a flat print area. So what I'm gonna do for this is just pick this up, turn it, it's gonna lock back in place, and then I'm just going to uh, put that latch back so that it stays in place whenever I'm working with it. Now you can see that I have pockets inside this bag and I need to get those out of the way. So I don't wanna just lay this right on top of there because that's gonna poke through the front part of my tote bag and I'm not gonna have a flat surface. So I'm just going to thread this on there and get a nice flat surface to work with. All right, so now you can see my leather straps are off. I have a nice flat surface so I know that my um, application is going to adhere correctly. So what I'm gonna do is just do a quick preheat. You always want to double check your pressure whenever you're changing uh, your platens in and out of the heat press. And of course, if a uh, item or accessory that you are heat pressing is going to be laundered, you wanna make sure you're getting moisture and wrinkles out of that fabric. All right, so for the first part of my application, I'm going to do the Fashion Film Electric because it's a hot peel. But what I wanna do is lay both, both of these transfers down so that I know exactly where everything's gonna line up. Keep in mind, whenever you are applying tote bags, you wanna go a little bit towards the bottom of the tote bag because once this is filled, this design is not going to look centered. So I'm just gonna drop my design down a little bit, make sure everything's lining up correctly. Okay, so now I'm good. I can go ahead and cover with my cover sheet and apply my Fashion Film Electric. This is going to apply at the same uh, time and temperature that Fashion Film does, so nothing really needs to change on the press for me. Just going to apply this for a couple seconds because Fashion Film is actually a hot peel, okay? And since I'm going back in with another transfer, it's going to get its full application whenever I um, apply the flock. So this is going to make for easy registration and also speed up my production time. So it looks like I lost a piece of my flock here. It must have come off the carrier. But that's okay. You guys get the gist of what it looks like in the whole application. So just be careful whenever you're weeding away your flock. You don't have any pieces lifting up and falling off of the carrier. Now I'm just gonna apply this for its recommended time and temperature. That's 320 degrees for 15 to 20 seconds. And whenever I apply this for its full application, the Fashion Film Electric is going to get its full application as well. So although I tacked it the first time for two seconds, it's still going to get its full application with the second application, which is flock, okay? My flock is a warm to cool pill, so I'm gonna wait for my heat transfer vinyl to cool down a little bit before I have a completed transfer. 
a uh, quick question. Um, one of the users typed in, who is the supplier of the tote bag? The supplier for the tote bag is, the tote bag is Wholesale Boutique. They have uh, several different items on there. That's actually where the back to school project was um, purchased from. And they have a variety of different colors in this tote bag for you to pick from as well. All right, so I can go ahead and peel the carrier back from my flock. And then you have an idea of what um, Fashion Film Electric and flock look like on a tote bag. So this is perfect for uh, summer and all the upcoming vacations you guys may be uh, taking or any customers that are doing uh, spring break around this time and also Easter gifts. I know it's this weekend and it might be a little short notice, but just so that you guys have an idea of all the different things that you can use this application for. Right. So we're going to move on to the next application, which is the color block tank and the color block glitter flake and foil effect. Now this is going to be a few different steps. So pay close attention to which um, heat transfer vinyl is going to be laid down first. First, I want to. What I want to do is switch around my 11 by 15 so that my tank top is going to fit on there nice and evenly for me. Now I'm going to make sure that all the seams that could cause uneven pressure are off of the platen. Okay. So again, just like any other garment, you want to do a quick preheat. And I know I'm going to need my pressure to be at about a medium for this application. Well, for my first application, which is fashion film. Okay. So I'm going to lay down my fashion film first. I always want to start with the largest part of my design whenever I'm doing a um, multiple, when I'm doing multiple steps in an application. And since this is a scoop neck tank, I'm only going to go about two fingers down from the collar as opposed to four. Only want to be about an inch from the collar whenever it's going to be a scoop neck or um, a V-neck. Okay, so I'm going to grab my cover sheet and I'm going to apply this for just two seconds. As I mentioned in our last application, you want to make sure that your registration is going to line up correctly whenever you're applying multiple colors or different heat transfer vinyl. So I tacked that for two seconds and didn't get a good adhesion there, but that's okay. I'm just going to tack it for a few extra seconds. Must not have had the right pressure there, so I'm going to increase that a little bit. All right, we're at a medium pressure now, so I'm just going to attack that again for a couple seconds. And that should do the trick. So I can go ahead and peel my carrier back. Everything stuck that time, so we're good to go. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my glitter flake. Glitter flake applies at the same pressure and time as fashion film. So I'm going to be able to lay this right in there. My registration lining up just right. And then I don't have to change anything at the press. Just like fashion film, glitter flake is going to apply just uh, at the same two second tack. So I'm just going to tack that down for a couple seconds and I can go ahead and peel that carrier back hot. Okay, so we have our second piece of the design. Now I'm going to go in with my adhesive and foil. I save this part for last because I don't want to hit the foil for a second time because it's going to give me a low luster finish. If you guys want to learn more about that, be sure to check out some videos on foil to see the difference between uh, a low luster finish and a true mirror finish. So I'm just going to go ahead and line up my adhesive exactly where I need it to be. And adhesive is going to apply 
at a light pressure for 300 degrees. Now, I am working with glitter flake and fashion film, and that, is, that means that my heat press is set at 320 degrees. Whenever I'm working with three multiple heat transfer vinyls, I want to make sure that I'm always going with the highest temperature. So although adhesive can apply at 300 degrees, I'm still going to keep my temperature at 320 just so that I don't have to wait for that press to cool down. It's not going to damage the adhesive or the foil. So I can go ahead and tack that for five seconds, and I'm going to go ahead and take some questions that we have coming in as well. And uh, one of our users asks, uh, when you're referring to registration, did you have registration marks or are you just eyeballing it? My registration is actually going to be based on where everything's going to line up. So although I don't have registration marks, that doesn't mean that I don't still have registration in my design. So you can see where the R is completely split in half in this design. I still know that the top of my R and the bottom of my R still need to register correctly. So that's what I mean whenever I use the term registration, okay? Any other questions? Uh, we have one more uh, referring to the tote bag. Mm -hmm. um, how do you get the split effect uh, on the font of the life on the bag? So for this, I actually purchased my design from Etsy.com. They have a bunch of SVG files artwork already made up and they're very inexpensive so be sure to uh, visit Etsy search S SVG files and a bunch of different clip art and uh, templates will come up for you to choose from so I didn't actually create that artwork I'm not sure how the creator did that I think it's very unique and it looks really cool but that was just purchased on Etsy.com okay is that all for questions all right awesome all right so I have my adhesive still sitting over here at the press no problem, adhesive is typically a hot peel, but although it cooled down a little bit, I can still go ahead and peel this carrier back. All right, so you can see it has a very like glossy effect there. And whenever that heat activates that adhesive, my foil is going to apply to it. So I'm just gonna lay my foil down right over top of that adhesive, making sure all of it's covered. You never want to leave any adhesive exposed. All right, so I can go ahead and apply that for its recommended application. Typically, foil is going to be uh, applied at 300 degrees. As I said, it's at 320, which is no problem. It's not going to damage anything. So keeping it at 320 is OK. But I am going to increase my pressure. Foil applies at a firm pressure, so I'm just going to increase that knob by two turns to know that I, I've reached a firm pressure. Your firm pressure is going to read anywhere from a 7 to a 9 if you have a digital pressure readout on the press. The foil applies also for 10 seconds as opposed to 5 seconds for adhesive. All right, so two thing, a few things to take away uh, from this application. Always do adhesive and foil as the last application if you're pairing other um, vinyls with it. Then you want to make sure your adhesive is applied for five seconds and is a hot peel. And then your foil is going to be applied for 10 seconds and is a cold peel. So now that my foil is cooled down, I'm going to lay this back down on the platen so you guys can see this effect whenever I peel this foil away. So it stayed exactly where I needed it to where the adhesive. Now you can see some on the fashion film where the edges of the foil were laying. Although that's there, that's okay. That'll come right off in the wash, or if you just take a rag to it and rub it off, it'll come off that way as well. All right, so we have some questions. We can go ahead and take those. There's asks, um, how many washes will the foil last on the garment? Okay, so typically we recommend that all of our heat transfer vinyl last up to 50 washes. That's going to change for foil. Just because the nature of the foil is to be very flaky and be able to fall off much easier than a very durable vinyl, it's going to only last you 25 washes. And that's the only heat transfer vinyl, well, any, any transfer that we offer that's only going to be 25 washes. The rest is going to be 50 washes. Okay, is that all the questions we have? 
Uh, we do have another one. Uh, they want to know what color foil that is. The color of that foil is actually my favorite. That's why I chose to use it today. It's hollow rainbow silver. And again, that's hollow rainbow silver. Okay, is that our last question? All right, perfect. All right, so we can go ahead and move on to our next application. And that is the Cosmic Tea. I'm starting to forget <laughs> which applications we chose. So we have the Cosmic Tea with the uh, pattern monogram with the fashion film. So we're doing a mixed media look on this Cosmic Tea. This t-shirt was purchased uh, from Sanmar as well, and the brand is District Made. Okay, so I saw my 11 by 15 on the here. It's gonna work perfect for ladies' garments. So that's why I'm getting away with just using this platen for now. I'm going to do a quick preheat. I'm going to decrease my pressure since I had it at a pretty firm pressure for the foil application. What's nice, is, what's nice about always doing a preheat is you get to test your uh, pressure every time you do a preheat. So you get to do two things at once to speed up production. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay down my transfer here. And again, I'm, I'm printing on a V-neck, so I don't have to go four fingers completely down from the collar, just two. I don't want to apply my fashion film just yet, so I'm going to peel that out of there. Now, if I wanted to, I could trim this up so that I can just lay it right underneath there, but just because I don't want to spend the time trimming my design, I'm just going to apply this for three to five seconds to do a quick tack and then apply my fashion film. All right, so my CAD cut patterns is going to apply for 10 to 15 seconds at 300 degrees. As I said earlier, the press is at 320. I'm going to be applying fashion film with this, so I'm going to keep my temperature there. It's not going to damage my CAD cut patterns at all. Okay, so I have my quick tack done, and then I'm just going to go ahead and lay in my fashion film. And I'm also going to do this for just a two second tack. Reason being, this Mylar carrier is thick enough to create indents in the vinyl that's laying underneath it. So for me to avoid getting a square here in my patterns design that was laid down beforehand, I'm just going to tack this for two seconds, peel it hot, and then do it for the uh, full application so they both get uh, their recommended time and temperature. Looks like we have some questions, so we'll go ahead with those. Okay, Jenna, uh, one of our users asks, uh, where did you find the design for that shirt? This was another Etsy purchase. So um, I believe I typed in the uh, mandala or mandala, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, monogram frame. So that's spelled M-A-N-D-A-L-A -A -A, and then monogram frame. And a bunch of these came up. So that's where I got those. And are we good with questions? All right, great. All right, so I peeled my fashion film after tacking it for two seconds. I'm going to cut my cover sheet again and hit it for the full application. And then after this, I'm going to um, get my heat press down to about 300 degrees so that I can apply my Transfer Express transfer for its recommended time and temperature, which is 300 degrees for 15 seconds, all right? So, I'm going to adjust my temperature here. Okay, and we have our completed Cosmic T-shirt with our CAD cut patterns and fashion film. So obviously, uh, this is going to reach more of a female market, whether you're decorating for boutiques or just friends and family is going to be a very cool look for them. But keep in mind, um, with the variety of t-shirts and the variety of patterns that Stalls offers, you can reach several different markets. So it's not just for ladies and uh, boutiques, children's wear. 
you can really go beyond that for basketball teams and football teams. So I really encourage you uh, to take a look at Stalls TV or Stalls.com and check out all the patterns we offer so that you have um, a variety to choose from for the certain markets that you're trying to reach. All right, so for our last application, we're going to be applying the short sleeve hoodie with the elastic print transfer from Transfer Express. This garment was purchased from SNS Activewear or Sanmar. They both offer this brand and it's called Alternative. All right, so I have my 11 by 15 on uh, my platen on here and you can see that there's a thick seam here from the pocket. So what I'm gonna do is just twist this around and then all the seams are going to be off of my platen and giving me a nice flat surface to press my transfer at. All right, so all my seams are falling off the platen, have a nice flat area. I'm gonna do a quick preheat. I'm going to adjust my pressure to a firm pressure since my elastoprint requires that. Just a little more. All right, so we're reading at an eight. That's perfect. So I can go ahead and lay my elastoprint transfer down. I'm going to go four inches from the collar since the collar is going to run right up to the neckline. Gonna, well, I don't need a cover sheet for this application. I'll, to keep in mind, anytime you're working with Transfer Express uh, screen print transfers, you don't actually have to use a cover sheet. Uh, this sheet is going to protect um, my transfer, so no need for the cover sheet. And I'm going to apply this firm pressure 300 degrees for 15 seconds, and then I'm going to wait for it to cool down, and then I'll peel the transfer. This transfer is good not only for tri-blend t-shirts, but also for performance wear. So keep in mind if you're getting into um, spandex material or 100% polyester, this would be the screen print transfer that you would want to go with from Transfer Express. All right, so like I said earlier, to speed up the cool down process, I'm just going to place my transfer on a cool surface to release that heat from the garment and the transfer faster. All right, so my transfer, transfer is completely cool, so I can go ahead and peel this back. And I have a really cool distressed effect on there that's perfect for this lightweight hoodie. All right, so do we have any questions on that application at all? Great. All right, so I just want to point out Transfer Express has a bunch of different uh, screen print or Plastisol ink transfers that you can utilize in your business. They're great for high quantity orders. So if you're getting 50 or more or 40, actually anything more than 25, this is what you're going to want to start looking into. So if you don't want to have to cut and weed, this is a great option for you uh, to choose and reaches a bunch of different markets. They offer several uh, different Plastisol inks that apply at different temperatures. That's why I was able to print this tri-blend without scorching the garment. All right, all right, and that completes our um, applications for today. And I just want to point out uh, before we finish up uh, the uh, Choose Your Heat Press project, be sure to join us April 9th. Mike Koval is going to uh, be doing a complete CAD cut tour. So this is going to help um, with people who aren't as familiar with heat transfer vinyl and all the different varieties there are out there. So he's going to be going over um, everything you really need to know about HTV and how to cut and heat apply it. So join him at 11 a.m. on April 19th. And thanks so much for attending and joining me today.